4.30 a.m. The German infantry attack begins and at the same time the outskirts of the village are bombed with mel melanite shell. What, what's melanite? That's powder. What, it's powder. Powder. What did the territorial army have to fight with? The territorial soldiers didn't have any artillery. They've just got rifles? Yes. Against these shell. Oh yes. At 9 a.m. the cannon fire becomes more intense and it's no longer possible to leave the trenches. Oh, this is so ominous. This is horrible. The opposing infantry has advanced quickly to the northeast, east, and southeast, and are approaching the outskirts. During this action, Major Denou is shot through the neck, and Captain Goubet is injured by a piece of shrapnel to his head. At this point of the battle, most officers are killed or injured. Okay. The enemy's constant gunfire causes heavy damages to our lines which has a demoralizing effect on all the soldiers who have already endured five consecutive nights and days of bombardment. Nevertheless, the 16th Regiment courageously resists until 1025. Yes. Oh, my God. After seven hours of German attack, and having suffered 800 casualties, almost a third of its strength, the 16th Territorial Regiment fell back from Corsell leaving a small platoon to cover their retreat. One of these men is your great-grandfather, Louis Vallant. This is service record. In the October battle, he took command of a section um, and held his men under violent fire. Um, with the greatest calm, he... Oh, oh my God. He, he killed. He killed. Several German soldiers for protecting his position and defending his comrades. Oh my God. He was seriously injured in the arm and the side, side. by uh, a... Shell. No, a shell. A shell. A shell. OK. Oh okay. my goodness me. So, Louis Volant, your great grandfather, who was, before the First World War, an ordinary man, a waiter, he was a waiter. And a good soldier when he was a conscript. Yeah, but yes. 15 days training for this. <laughs> yes, became in Courcel a hero. When his officers were killed, he was still there fighting. Amazing. For his bravery, your great grandfather won La Croix de Guerre, the Legion d'Honneur is an award for officer class. The Croix de Guerre is an award for the fighter. It's better. The Croix de Guerre is much better than the Legion d'Honneur. That's the fighter for me. medal. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. In your family, have you a Croix de Guerre? Not that I'm aware of, no. 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 Here? You are joking. I have La Croix de Guerre with a bronze star. Exactly the same that your great grandfather won. And I will be very, very honored if you accept it. <laughs> Thank you so much. In memory of your great grandfather. Thank you very much indeed. Please, please. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I now understand how this happened. We have two men with the same name who really were war heroes. My great-grandfather has gone back to defend bridges and roads, and then he finds himself in the middle of this incredibly bloody battle. And my Louis, who was a waiter, and a very ordinary, but to me not an ordinary man at all, he leaps into action. I've always been most impressed with bravery against the odds. You know, bravery when it looks like you're beaten. Bravery when, okay, we're all gonna die, but let's go down fighting. And that's what he did. So we are here yes. at the River Restaurant, yes. the Savoy, yes. which is where Louis worked between 1919 and 1927. And this is the restaurant in action. Wow. I love this. It's so 1920s. I'm going to put all these back in here, Joan. Okay. I want you to take them with you. So look after Louis and Lizzie for me. I will read it. Thank you so much. I'll look after them. You broke.